everyone, welcome back to Best Product Reviews. If you're working with AutoCAD, you know that choosing the right laptop is crucial. Today we're counting down the top 5 best laptops for AutoCAD in 2025, from number 5 to number 1. We've analyzed specs and performance to bring you the best options for smooth 3D modeling, fast rendering, and reliable workflow. Let's get started. Coming in at number 5, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad P16 Gen 2 with the RTX 5000 ADA Workstation GPU. Now, let me be upfront with you. This is a workstation laptop, and for most AutoCAD users, a workstation GPU is actually overkill. But if you fall into a very specific category, this beast might be what you need. This powerhouse comes equipped with an Intel Core i9-13950HX processor, a massive 128GB of RAM, and the NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA with 16GB of video memory. It also packs a huge 4TB SSD and sports a 16-inch UHD touchscreen display with a resolution of 3840 by 2400 at 8 pounds, it's definitely on the heavier side, and you're looking at about one hour of battery life under heavy use. So who needs this laptop? There are really only three scenarios. First, if your company specifically requires you to use a workstation GPU. Second, if you work with extremely large models in AutoCAD. Think projects with thousands of parts like massive architectural designs or industrial machinery. And third, if you want to eliminate every possible small error or artifact when working with complex designs. For everyone else, the performance difference between workstation GPUs and regular dedicated GPUs is basically non-existent for everyday AutoCAD work. The RTX 5000 ADA is the most powerful workstation GPU you can get right now. It has 16 gigabytes of video memory, which is where it truly shines. When you're working with massive assemblies containing 5,000 plus parts, that extra video memory keeps your viewport smooth and responsive. However, if you're working with typical projects like house plans, mechanical designs, or medium-sized models, you really don't need this level of power. A gaming GPU with 6 gigabytes of video memory will handle those projects just as well for a fraction of the price. The bottom line is this. Workstation laptops like the ThinkPad P16 are specialized tools for specialized work. If you're rendering complex projects all day, every day, and working with enormous files, this laptop delivers uncompromising performance. But for most students, engineers, and architects working with AutoCAD, you'll get better value from the other laptops on this list. For updated pricing and more details, check out the links in the description. At number 4, we have the Lenovo LOQ, and this is where things get interesting for users who work with large 3D models. This laptop strikes an excellent balance between performance and price, making it ideal for professional CAD engineers who need serious power without breaking the bank. The Lenovo LOQ features an AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS processor, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, and NVIDIA RTX 4050 GPU with 125 watts of power plus 15 watts of dynamic boost, and a 512GB NVMe SSD. It has a 15-inch Full HD IPS display with a fast 165Hz refresh rate. It weighs about 5.73 pounds and offers around 2 hours of battery life under heavy use. Now let's talk about why this laptop is special. That RTX 4050 GPU is a significant step up from entry-level options. It has 16 gigabytes of video memory and it runs at high wattage, which makes a massive difference. Many laptops advertise an RTX 4050, but they run it at lower power, which can cut performance nearly in half. This Lenovo LOQ runs the GPU at 140 watts, meaning you get the full performance potential. What does this mean for AutoCAD? When you're working with large, complex models, this laptop keeps your viewport performance smooth. Rotating, zooming, and panning through 3D assemblies stays responsive even when you're working with hundreds or thousands of parts. The 6 gigabytes of video memory is the sweet spot for most professional work. It can handle models about 50% larger and more complex than what a 4 gigabyte GPU can manage before you start seeing lag. The Ryzen 7 8845HS processor is another highlight. AMD's latest generation Ryzen processors are incredibly fast, matching and even exceeding Intel's latest offerings in many benchmarks. Since AutoCAD relies heavily on single core clock speed for drawing and modeling tasks, having this powerful processor means snappy performance across your entire workflow. 
Plus, with 16GB of RAM, you've got plenty of memory for multitasking and fast rendering. If you also use GPU-based rendering software alongside AutoCAD, like Lumion or 3ds Max, this laptop really shines. The high-wattage RTX 4050 with its CUDA cores will dramatically speed up rendering times compared to lower-powered alternatives. And with 512GB of storage, you've got ample space for your projects, though you can easily upgrade to 1TB if you work with very large files. For updated pricing and more details, check out the links in the description. Coming in at number 3, we have the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2, and this is hands down the best laptop or tablet for AutoCAD if you value portability and versatility. This device is perfect for professionals who need to take their work on the go, whether you're heading to construction sites, client meetings, or just commuting to the office. The Surface Laptop Studio 2 features a 13th generation Intel Core i7-13700HX processor, 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 4050 running at 80 watts, and a 512 gigabyte NVMe PCIe 4.0 SSD. It has a gorgeous 14.4-inch display with a resolution of 2400 by 1600, and it's a two-in-one convertible design, meaning you can use it as a traditional laptop or fold it into tablet mode during presentations. It weighs just 4.37 pounds and offers between 5 to 8 hours of battery life depending on your workload. Now here's the thing. Most laptops with dedicated GPUs are bulky and heavy, which is fine if you're working at a desk all day, but if you're a student carrying your laptop across campus or an engineer visiting multiple job sites, weight matters. The Surface Laptop Studio 2 solves this problem beautifully. It's relatively lightweight and portable, but it doesn't sacrifice performance. The RTX 4050 GPU with 6GB of video memory is perfect for medium to large models in AutoCAD. You'll have smooth viewport performance and fast rendering times. And because it's configurable, you can also opt for the RTX 4060 with 8GB of video memory if you work with extremely large assemblies or use other demanding 3D CAD software. However, for most AutoCAD users, the RTX 4050 configuration offers the best performance to price ratio. One standout feature is the touchscreen and stylus support. Being able to sketch directly on the screen with the Surface Pen is incredibly useful for quick annotations, markups, and design reviews. The 2-in-1 form factor also makes it easy to show your clients your designs in tablet mode during presentations. Now there is one important consideration. Because this is a thin and light laptop, the cooling system isn't as robust as larger laptops. That means it's not ideal for hours and hours of intensive rendering. If you're rendering small to medium projects, it'll handle it just fine. But if you're running renders that take several hours, you'll want a larger laptop or a desktop workstation. For typical AutoCAD work though, where rendering usually takes just a few minutes, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is an excellent choice. If the price of the latest model is too steep, consider looking at the Surface Laptop Studio 1, which has the RTX 3050 Ti, or even the Surface Pro for lighter AutoCAD work. These older models are still very capable and often available at significant discounts. For updated pricing and more details, check out the links in the description. Coming in at number 2, we have the MSI Thin GF63, and this is the best budget laptop for AutoCAD if you want dedicated graphics without spending too much. If you're a student or just getting started with 3D modeling, this laptop delivers impressive performance at an affordable price point. The MSI Thin GF63 features an Intel Core i5-1245HS processor, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 2050 GPU with 4GB of video memory, a generous 1TB NVMe SSD, and a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS display. It weighs just 4.1 pounds and offers about 4 hours of battery life under heavy use. Now let's talk about the hardware. The RTX 2050 is the latest 4GB video memory GPU available on budget laptops. While it's not as powerful as the 6GB options we've talked about, it's more than capable for small to medium-sized models. If you're working on house plans, mechanical designs, or typical student projects, this GPU will keep your viewport performance smooth and responsive. You won't see any lag when rotating or zooming through your 3D models. Now, here's an important point. You could find cheaper laptops with older GPUs like the GTX 1650, but those come with older, slower processors. The CPU is actually more important than the GPU for most AutoCAD tasks. 
AutoCAD relies heavily on single core clock speed for drawing, modeling, and even viewport performance. The Core i5-1245HX is a modern, fast processor with a turbo boost of 4.4 GHz. That means snacky performance across your entire workflow, from launching the software to saving large files. One standout feature of this laptop is the massive 1TB SSD. Most budget laptops only include 256 or 512 gigabytes, but with 1TB, you'll never need to worry about running out of space. You can store all your project files, install multiple CAD programs, and still have plenty of room left over. This is especially valuable if you're a student who needs space for classes, assignments, and personal projects. The 8 gigabytes of RAM is the only limitation here. It's enough for modeling and drawing, but if you're rendering very large models, you might want to upgrade to 16 gigabytes. The good news is that the MSI Thin GF63 has an extra RAM slot, so upgrading is straightforward and affordable. With 16, 16 GB, rendering times for large projects will improve significantly, though for small models, 8 GB is perfectly adequate. If you're on a tight budget and need a reliable laptop for AutoCAD, the MSI Thin GF63 offers excellent value. It's fast, portable, and has plenty of storage. And if you can find it on sale, it's an absolute steal. For updated pricing and more details, check out the links in the description. And finally, at number one, the best overall laptop for AutoCAD in 2025 is the HP Victus. This laptop offers unbeatable value, combining strong performance, future-proof specs, and an incredibly competitive price. Whether you're a student, a professional, or somewhere in between, the HP Victus is the laptop to beat. The HP Victus comes with an Intel Core i5-12450H processor, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti with 6GB of video memory, a 512GB NVMe SSD, and a 15-inch Full HD IPS display with a 144Hz refresh rate. It weighs 5.06 pounds and offers about 5 hours of battery life. Let's talk about why this laptop is number one. The star of the show is that RTX 3050 Ti GPU with 6GB of video memory. Right now, there's no cheaper alternative on the market with the same or better hardware. In fact, the price is so competitive that it's often the same as laptops with the much weaker RTX 2050, which only has 4 GB of video memory. That extra 2 GB of video memory makes a huge difference when working with larger models. With 6 GB of video memory, this laptop is essentially future-proof for AutoCAD. It can handle pretty much any model you throw at it, from small student projects to complex professional designs with hundreds of parts. If you're a student, this GPU is honestly overkill for your current needs. But here's the beauty of it. When you graduate and start working professionally, this laptop will still be more than capable of handling your workload for years to come. The Core i5-12450H processor is fast and efficient. With a turbo boost of 4.4 GHz, it delivers excellent performance for all AutoCAD tasks. Drawing, modeling, and viewport manipulation are all smooth and responsive. And because AutoCAD relies so heavily on CPU clock speed, having this modern processor means you won't experience any bottlenecks in your workflow. The 512 GB SSD is perfect for most users. It's enough space for Windows, AutoCAD, all your project files, and other software. And if you ever need more storage, upgrading is simple and affordable. The 8 GB of RAM is adequate for modeling and everyday work. And just like the MSI laptop, you can upgrade to 16 GB if you start working with very large projects or need faster rendering times. Another great feature is the 144 Hz display. While you might not think refresh rate matters for CAD work, it actually makes a noticeable difference when you're panning and rotating 3D models. The higher refresh rate makes movements feel smoother and more fluid, which reduces eye strain during long work sessions. The HP Victus is simply the best all-around laptop for AutoCAD. It's affordable, powerful, and ready to handle anything you need, today and for years to come. If you're serious about AutoCAD and want a laptop that won't let you down, this is the one to get. For updated pricing and more details, check out the links in the description. And there you have it, the top 5 best laptops for AutoCAD in 2025. To recap, 
At number 5, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad P16 Gen 2, for those who need ultimate workstation power. At number 4, the Lenovo LoQ delivers high performance for large 3D models. At number 3, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is perfect for portability and versatility. At number 2, the MSI Fin GF63 offers incredible budget-friendly performance. And at number 1, the HP Victus is the best overall choice, combining excellent specs, future-proof hardware, and an unbeatable price. Remember, the right laptop depends on your specific needs. If you're a student working with small to medium models, the MSI Thin GF63 or HP Victus are perfect choices. If you need portability, go with the Surface Laptop Studio 2. And if you're a professional working with massive assemblies, the Lenovo LoQ or ThinkPad P16 will serve you well. All the links to these laptops are in the description below, along with current pricing and full specifications. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Best Product Reviews for more in-depth tech reviews and buying guides. Drop a comment below and let us know which laptop you're considering or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.